In this video, you're going to figure out where you're stuck in your manifestation practice and how to fix it. Manifesting comes down to three things, believing, conceiving, receiving. Let me go over all three so you can figure out where you're stuck and let me tell you how to fix it. Starting with number one, believing. This is the foundation of manifestation. If you can't truly believe that something is possible for you, then the entire process is undermined. Belief, as I always say, opens the doors to possibilities. This is what shapes your mindset and the direction that you need to manifest your desires. Number two, conceiving. Once you believe in the possibility, you can start to conceive or give birth to the idea. This is done through visualizing, planning, and mentally creating a scenario in your mind where the desire exists. It's the act of nurturing the belief into something more tangible in your mind. And number three, finally, once you have believed and conceived, you are in the position to receive. This is where most people get stuck. This is where most people struggle because receiving requires what? openness, trust, and an alignment with the flow of abundance. And correct me if I'm wrong, but what I see collectively between men and women, everyone is guarded. How to know if you're able to receive? Test it in your daily life. If someone plays you a compliment, do you receive it? Do you say thank you? Or do you find a way to block it and hit it back? If someone offers help, are you able to say okay? Or do you say no, you've got this? If someone wants to let you go in front of them in line, because let's say you have one thing and they have five things and you say, no, 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 it's okay. Then you're not able to receive. You can see it all over the place in your daily life. If you're not able to receive, you'll never be able to attract your manifestation because the door is not open. The door to what? The door to your heart, because we manifest from our hearts. Your manifestation is knocking on a closed door and it will continue to lock on a closed door until you learn to receive. So many of you might think that you just don't know how to manifest. Your manifestation might be sitting right outside the closed door of your heart. So how do you open your heart? How do you learn how to receive? I always go to the scale of polarity. The scale of polarity is the sliding scale between two extremes. So if you are absolutely unable to receive, I want you to do this. We all know the girl, the gold digger girl, the girl that demands everything, asks for everything, expects everything, gets pissed when she doesn't get it. She is unapologetic about her demands. I want you to embody that girl. I want you to sit there and think about that girl. Embody her entire essence and then sit down, write your manifestation list. Embody her before you read it. I want you to play a role. I want you to act like you are her. You will never step into her shoes because you're so far down the scale that all this is going to do is possibly bring you into balance. Okay, so that's why I say using the scale of polarity will always show you what you need to add or subtract to bring your life to balance. It's uncomfortable for people that are uncomfortable asking for things. It's uncomfortable for people that are uncomfortable receiving. And listen to me when I say we need people like this in our lives. The contrast of people gives us clarity. The contrast of someone that's like that versus you, the reason why that person annoys you is because anytime it's a trigger, it's mirroring something. It's either mirroring something you are or it's mirroring something you need. You need a tablespoon of that girl to bring your life to balance, to let you know it's okay to receive and to let you know that you deserve nice things too. All right, you guys, so I want you to really try to embody this practice when you sit down. The reason why I focused on receiving because the majority of us are stuck there.